Hey, this is Isaac Kotick, and in this video, I'm going to be showing off how to make a minimal style bass line, which is great for deep house, minimal house, that type of thing. Let's check it out in Ableton Live. I can feel the summer coming on, summer house. All right, let's solo that so we can hear it. And in context. Cool, now we're gonna build this step-by-step -step in Ableton Live's wavetable. Make sure you bookmark or subscribe this. If you don't watch all of it now, you can come back and watch it later. And let's build this thing and hopefully you'll learn a lot along the way. Sweet, so here we are in Live and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete that preset. I'm gonna go over to Instruments and grabbing a new wavetable. So the key with this one is we want a real plucky style bass kind that has like a very small kind of size and character to it that'll fit in really well with the rest of the track. Gives you that minimal sound. And what I like to start with is the oscillators. I'm gonna put on the sub oscillator. I'm gonna keep this at the negative one, all these settings. The only thing is I'm gonna bounce up that gain, bring it up to zero, and the tone I'm gonna put to about 30%. There we go. And let's hear that. All right, that sounds nothing like what we want, but we got to do some other things. So we're going to go with the retro, and that's the category. And within this, we're going to pick the particular wavetable of wind synth. So here we go, last one. I don't know if you knew that, but you can actually click in the waveform to move it, which is pretty cool if you want to jump around. Awesome, this has some really cool moving harmonics that we're going to play with. I'm going to keep this to around 30%. And then let's put on oscillator 2. Actually, let's, bam, build that out. We have that little triangle there. See it so we can see everything laid out a lot easier. Oscillator 2. I'm going to put on basics, basic shapes. That sounds good. And we're going to move that up a little bit under that square wave. <laughs> And we're going to do some things with the filter to make that actually sound good. So, with the filter, once I get the oscillators, then I like to really shape it with the envelopes and everything. I just think it's a very clear, clean way to start building a, a preset. Now, I'm going to bring this down quite a bit. Now, if I go like that, we can barely hear it right now, but if I map this filter, to some of these envelopes, then we can kind of open it quickly over time, and then it'll kind of come through the mix. But for the frequency, I'm going to go to around 40 hertz, so really low, and I'm actually going to change the filter shape. So here's the filter shapes. This one is just a clean digital one, and the rest are emulated after analog synths. So you've got a little bit more kind of harmonics and uh, kind of distortion to it. So we're going to put that drive up, go with 9, and then I'm going to have to bring down that volume to make sure it doesn't clip. Great, now let's put that back to 40, and let's map this to envelope 2. So with envelope 2, I'm going to make this super sharp because we're going with this minimal pluck sound, right? And then I'm going to click this, shows up right here in my matrix. I'm going to set this to, it's 59. Now we've got a very fast kind of click. Great. This is getting a lot closer. Now let me go down an octave. Cool. Now to give this a little bit more character, I'm going to go with the oscillator one position, click this. So I'm going to want to change this over time using my LFO. So I'm going to put this up to uh, 38, sounds good. And I'm going to change my LFO shape a little bit. I am actually going to change the attack. So the attack is how quickly said envelope starts. And I want it to start just a little bit uh, later. So Something like that. So we have less of attack to start, so it comes in not as strong and then builds as it goes. And then I'm going to change the amounts down a bit to 80. 
and the rate I'm going to go with negative 36. So basically I just want it to be really slow. So there we can see it moving. See how when I move that, it's a subtle, there's a subtle change happening. But it really just gives it a little bit more um, feeling or expression than if it was just flat. I think adding anything like that, a little movement in wavetables or a little elfo, just really makes it seem more organic. And then when you layer tons of layers like that, there's this subtle movement that's always happening. It just makes it a lot better sounding. And then last up, I'm going to play over here. I'm going to turn this poly, I'm going to turn it to mono. <laughs> I was kind of tripping on my words there. Straight tripping, tripping. Okay, so mono glide is kept at zero because we just want to hit one note at a time. It's, it's a mono bass. And then we're going to change the unison to phase sync. I'm going to crank that up to six. So we're going to basically take this single voice and have six of them that are all slightly detuned compared to the amount and whatever setting we chose. So I chose phase sync and then I'm gonna put this up to 59. So you might hear, it just makes it seem a little bit bigger. So if I turn this off, it's very upfront in the middle and then when I turn this on, it kind of just feels like it's a larger sound. All right, bam, there we go. We've got that preset. This one's a pretty simple one, but once you build this, you can start playing with it. Like, uh, let's say you write a track, you've got this, this minimal bass happening and you can open up this filter. to get a real classic sound, right? It just adds kind of movement throughout your track. And you could also go ahead and move these and move this guy, the position, to just give it a little bit different tonal quality. If you want to make it a little bit more subdued, put it into sign or square if you want some more harmonics. Bam, so there you go. That is making a minimal style bass line for your production with Ableton Live's Wavetable. Enjoy using this thing. Comment below if you end up using it, have some tracks or something. I always love to check it out. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. There's going to be a lot more videos specifically around house and wavetable presets coming out. So subscribe. And yeah, until next time, have fun making the tunes.